prognosis is not good. As you can see, most of the gray and white matter has been... Rebecca, quiet, please. Most of the gray and white matter has been severely infected. It's showing the beginning stages of necroptosis and decomposition. All these black areas are basically dead. I mean, they can run, jump, eat, but they're not human anymore. Not really. Once again, how do you know all this? I learned all about the brain when I had a six-inch spike lodged in my skull as a child, which is the reason why you may have noticed that sometimes when I'm talking, I use the wrong rowboat. Word. Word. Now, bacteria can't cross the blood-brain barrier. So, I'm thinking this is more likely a virus. What kind of virus would do that? Pretty nasty one. Calvin said that Shelley Linker was the first one to bite, right? Yeah. But what about Clint and Tamara? All it did was make them sick. I have a theory about this. Hold on a moment. Tamara? Yeah? Have you achieved Menses? What? No, he's asking you if you've had your period yet. Um, I really don't want to say. You wear a bra, right? Yeah. Thank you. Gave you an A in sex ed, Tamara. Little disappointed you don't know what menses are. Why is sex ed always taught by the creepiest teachers? Clint, quiet, please. It seems that the virus is susceptible to androgens. I mean, the prepubescent body has testosterone and estrogen, but at puberty, the body's glands create a feedback cycle that increases the gonadotropins by about 2,000. What are you trying to say? Talk like a person, please. The, the virus is only dangerous if you haven't gone through puberty. 